Hello everybody, it's Ryan again. I'm out in the woods and I am looking for some iron ore. Now as a youngster, I used to remember finding it here. And there's a steep hillside and the iron ore is in this hillside and it's round and it erodes out and falls down to the base because it's kind of roundish, it, it rolls like a like a ball. And I don't remember exactly where I used to find it, but today we are gonna go on the hunt and find some, and then do a little experiment with its physical properties. This is probably a lot steeper in real life than it looks on camera. But I remember finding it here roughly in this area. So I'm gonna keep looking till I find some and then we'll take it back to my base camp and play with it. Unfortunately, this place has kind of got a little bit overgrown with uh, multiflora rose. So ooh, there's some coal on the ground. All right, this tells me that I'm getting close to an area where stuff is eroding out of the hillside some more oh here we go here we go oh. there there's a nice chunk of iron ore it's kind of rusty colored I'll try to get into the sunlight here there we go there's a nice chunk oh there's another little one right there there's a nice Nice fossil on some sandstone. Looks to be an old tree trunk. Nothing on the back. So it looks like I found a sweet spot. Is there any more? No, that's sandstone. I'll dig through this for a little bit. We'll see what we can pull out of here. So here's a nice big chunk. I just pulled out of the ground. You can see it's reddish it's rusty it feels a lot heavier than you would expect a rock of its size to feel that's a nice chunk of it's a nice chunk of iron ore iron is a pretty common element on our planet but mother nature sure doesn't like iron in metallic form whenever metallic iron is exposed to the atmosphere it almost immediately starts to oxidize where the iron combines with oxygen in the atmosphere and it creates this stuff, which is iron ore, which is, we could consider iron oxide. So it's Fe2O3. So there's some other chemical processes that have to happen to extract metallic iron from this rock. So here's a nice piece of iron ore that's just sitting right out in the open. And I see there's no moss on it. It probably rolled up, sorry, rolled down from somewhere up on the hillside. And here it came to rest. So just because a rock is rusty colored doesn't mean it's iron ore. If you see that reddish color, that means there's some iron in it, but that's not the majority of, the, of its makeup. I don't know exactly the percentage of iron to other minerals that are in this, but it's mostly iron and silica. It's a sedimentary rock. I can pull a chunk off. Yeah, the inside, it's nice and gray, very fine grained. Well, about halfway up this hill, as I was looking for little telltale signs of iron ore, I came upon this cool fossil. Look at that. Some ancient tree from the Carboniferous periods. I'll try to pick it up so we can see a better shot of it in the sunlight here. Wow. It's a really fun specimen. There's another trunk that was lying just at an angle to this one. Cool. I'll leave that here as a marker. So iron is a pretty heavy element. Its atomic number is 26, and all the iron that we have on our planet and even in our solar system was formed in collapsing stars billions of years ago. A collapsing star is the only environment that has enough energy and pressure to smush lighter atoms together into heavier ones. Our sun does it all the time. The sun that's behind me shining now is constantly 
smushing two hydrogen atoms into a helium atom. And if you keep smushing atoms together enough, you get heavier and heavier elements. So every atom of iron on this planet formed in collapsing stars. That's pretty incredible. All right. Let's see today's haul. Got the iron ore in the backpack here. A nice chunk there. Bigger chunk here. And I got some smaller stuff here. Some little remnants. So, iron ore has iron in it. And we know that magnets stick to iron. So we'll do a little experiment here. I have my magnet. Let's see, will it stick to the iron ore? Nope. It won't stick to it. All right, in this form, this particular ore, there are some ores like magnetite that you can pick up with a magnet right out of the ground. But this particular ore, it won't stick. So what we're gonna do is a little experiment. If we heat this up hot enough, we can change its physical properties slightly so that it will stick to a magnet. So notice none of this stuff in my hand here is sticking. But we're gonna go make a campfire, put some of this in. Whenever it's in that campfire, it splits apart into tinier pieces. But if we get it hot enough, we should be able to run the magnet over the top of the fire and pick up the roasted ore that will then stick to it. It's become ferromagnetic at that point. It, the ore is not made into a magnet, but it has the ability to be picked up by a magnet, and that's called ferromagnetic. All right, well, I have my fire roaring. It's not real, real big right now. Now I have my magnet with my ore. And again, just to show you, I've crushed up some of the ore. It's not sticking to the magnet. Um, I'm gonna crush this up a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my crushed ore and I'm going to toss it on top of the fire and get some more, and some more, any other bits, yep there's some more, and there's a few other pieces, all right, now I'm going to build this fire up and to make it really, really hot. And then later, we'll put it out. I have some buckets of water behind me. And then we'll see if we can use the magnet to dredge out pieces of ore that have been roasted and have become ferromagnetic. Okay, so there's my magnet again, not sticking to the ore, even those little pieces right there. All right, so our fire's died down now. I'm gonna put it out and see if we can retrieve some roasted ore. I really want to make sure this thing's out. It's been burning for a while. It's pretty hot. All right. Now, whenever I put the ore in the fire, if you do this, be careful because the ore cracks apart and it breaks down into tinier pieces. So I'm just going to... Ooh, it's still warm. There's ore sticking to my magnet. So I'll put my, ooh, it's warm. See if I can get some more. Oh yeah, look at that. Sticking to the magnet. So again, the same rocks that we dug out this morning out of the hillside some big ones. I wonder if they'll stick. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice big one. So understanding a little bit of geology and the uh, chemical properties of the rocks that we find, using heat we can change them. So look at that. There's all my ore stuck to the magnet. 